what's going on guys it's Jenny here with a new video before I start this video I'm gonna show you this cool sweater it says it has the key one flag and it says key one in the back um, an old friend gave it to me a couple of years ago and I still have it I never throw a gift away I'm the type of person that I always keep everything even if I don't use it but I just wanna thank you for this cool sweater if you're watching this video right now I love this water. Uh, people on Kiwa use it like athletic. So yeah, let's start with the video guys. The video is about uh, question, questions and answers. Uh, I still have some question here. I posted something on Facebook and people uh, asked me questions too. So let's start with the first questions. Let me just find it. Okay, first one. Where are you from? Well, how I already say, I'm from Cuba. Cuba. <laughs> so yeah, uh, the second question, how old are you? I'm 19 years old and waiting to turn 20. I'm just joking, I really don't wanna get old. Okay, uh, next question. How did you know you were trans? Well, um, I don't know, like, since I was younger, I used to always feel like a boy, I guess. And I never liked to play with girls. I always play soccer and all that. And I mean, people used to bully me all the time, but I don't know, I never really knew what bully was because I was just a kid. So I used to fight back and stuff like that. So my mom always knew like something's wrong with me. I used to always play around with my grandma telling her that I was a boy and then she used to laugh and stuff like that. She didn't take it as serious or anything. And I mean the time passed. I never really liked boys. Don't think so. <laughs> and I start I come out as a lesbian I guess. And but I feel like that wasn't enough like something strong was happening to me and I didn't feel comfortable with my body or anything like that so I started watching YouTube videos about people trans people and it kind of and, and it kinda helped me a little bit like knew more about it and I kind of saw that whatever was happening to that person was happening to me so I was like damn that's that's how i feel so i started finding more information about it so i had a, a friend that he's trans so he gonna help me out he suggests me a clinic where to go so i can talk to somebody to start getting tea and that's basically what i did um uh, but i never felt like a girl so i always feel like a guy so i kind of always knew um uh, since i was about five years old i started feeling like that my mom always was complaining about it i didn't want to wear dresses or anything and she would be complaining about it but that's that happens you know like i i don't know i i'm really <laughs> i'm not really like opening talking about this like i don't know like what to say so i don't know if i did good you guys can tell me about it and sorry for the noise, my nephew is here, so it's hell right here, but I hope I'm doing good with the questions. Let's go with the next one. Uh, next one. If you had to choose born as a guy or a girl, what would you choose? I think a boy because it would be more, much easier than born like this. But I don't complain, I mean, I'm proud of myself and I don't, know, I don't know how much to complain about, but it would be much easier. Uh, do you ever regret who you are today or what, or what you done? Uh, you know, sometimes people feel like down. I don't regret anything that I did. But sometimes we feel down, like thinking, why do we born like this? Why do we have to go through this? But that's life. And that's the only thing I complain about sometimes. But I don't regret anything that I did. I'm actually proud of everything I've done, but yeah, um, you inspire me a lot, thank you for your help. 
uh, no problem you know I'm here eh, for anything and I say this to everyone if you need somebody to talk to you can always DM me on Instagram I always leave my Instagram down on the description if you ever need anything I'm always here so no problem um, how it feels to to go in a oh how does it feel like to go in a main bathroom have you ever had problems hell yeah <laughs> I mean, I feel comfortable going there, but the only thing is how you don't have an egg roll. It's gonna, <laughs> it's kind of hard because I don't know. I don't know if it's just me, but I always sit down. Even that I have a STP, I don't really with me all the time. So I always thinking, is it somebody looking the way <laughs> I'm doing this or? I don't know like it's just so hard to explain like I don't feel comfortable like even at my job when I have to go I always look if there's nobody in the bathroom I don't feel comfortable because I don't know it's just I don't feel comfortable because I can't sometimes I can't even pee <laughs> but uh, that's the only thing I mean with the ESTP is way easier to do it for real <laughs> but I don't know I'm just lazy to bring all that with me but yeah guys this is some of the questions I um, don't I don't try to do this video so long because my laptop is dying and if I stop doing this video I won't feel like doing it I've been planning to do this video for a long time but you know how it is so thank you for everybody's support thank you for everything and if you ever need anything just DM me on Instagram I always answer my DMs when I go on it so yeah guys Thank you for everything and I hope I did good in the video. Peace.